Well, things just keep going from bad to worse for Prince Andrew. Now the Duke is looking to offload a $32 million Swiss chalet. Can you believe it? To help pay his legal bills. Russell Myers is the Royal Editor at the Daily Mirror. He joins us live from Essex in the UK. Well, Russell, this is because... I'm sorry... Russell, this, this is... He's in dire straits, isn't he? he? Is, so am yeah. I at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Russell. Well, good morning. He, well, he is, uh, certainly. I mean, look at the, the state he's in with his legal case. He is facing a full-on trial in the United States. It looks like he's being sued in New York uh, for uh, a catalogue of allegations surrounding sexual assault um, and misdemeanours from as far back as 2001. But the judge in New York is expected to give his decision in the coming days, possibly as early as tomorrow, and he will decide whether Prince Andrew does indeed have to face a full civil trial. Now, obviously, that would be not only hugely damaging for his own battered reputation, but, uh, the, you know, the, the effects on the monarchy could be absolutely catastrophic. And the latest news is that, uh, you know, not only his, are his legal bills mounting, we believe it's uh, up to about three or four million dollars at the moment and, and mounting, but if he does reach some sort of settlement with Virginia Gaffray, which is on the table, I'm led to believe, um, even if he does not go to trial, well, that settlement could reach multi, multi millions of dollars as well. So he's going to have to have some deep pockets, it looks like. Now, presumably the Queen has refused to pay some of these legal fees. How is the relationship between the two right now and also other members of the royal family? Well, it's interesting, Charles, because there have been reports over the last few months that the Queen was footing his legal bills. But um, certainly, my my new understanding of the of the situation is that the Queen has not paying his bills at all. And this is the reason why Prince Andrew is being forced to sell a 17 million pound, 32 million dollar Swiss chalet that he owns with his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. Now she's been there with their daughters this week on a sort of a fine final family holiday because they're actually getting rid of it and they have found a buyer. But it's uh, you know it looks like they've got to sell this very, very quickly to 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 meet these mounting costs. And certainly the, the you know the Queen will obviously stand by him. That's what she's uh, led everyone to believe at the moment. But certainly I think that the family in her platinum jubilee year would rather that this all isn't happening at all because it's mm. deeply, deeply embarrassing for him and the monarchy. Yeah, it is absolutely troubling. And this chalet, $32 million, you say they've found a buyer. Is it worth it? Well, it depends what you think $32 million should buy you, I suppose. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely stunning. It's got amazing views of the Swiss Alps. It's a seven-bedroom luxury mansion. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. But, uh, you know, it's not been without controversy. They agreed to buy it off a French socialite back in 2014, but there was some details that were missing with the payment system. They were nearly taken to court because they'd missed some payments. So I think it's always been wrought with controversy, this place. And uh, no doubt they want to offlift it because he's got some hefty, hefty legal bills coming his way. Russell, we always appreciate your time. Still plenty more to come in the coming days and weeks and possibly even months with this story. Thanks for your time this morning.